Hey guys, Chuck Murray here with another mind-blowing update from Zombie Go Boom. Now, I know it's not an episode, but you guys had a lot of questions, so we figured we would answer them. The first question we got from multiple viewers, and it went something like, I would feel bad for whoever would break into your apartment, or who would be man enough to break into your apartment? Well, that is actually a good question, because we have a lot of weapons at the apartment. Some of them our own from before Zombie Go Boom, a lot of them from doing the show Zombie Go Boom. So after I fire this arrow, we are going to go into our apartment and show you what we have. Alright, so what's up guys? Now we're going to show you how many weapons we actually have at our apartment. And we actually don't have all of the weapons we currently own at Zombie Go Boom. It's a small fraction and then we have two other locations where some weapons are kept. Um, but even with the weapons that we have in the apartment, we're going to have to do this in a few parts because what you see on the table is not even it's not even 50 percent not not even 25 percent anyway but we wanted to get started with close range weapons so uh we got everything from machetes to size so uh, uh charles you want to start talking about some of this stuff uh well some of the stuff we've tested on the show some of the stuff we haven't like the uh gladius machete we that have thing yet to test it but it um looks to be pretty brutal uh, yeah it's gonna be awesome uh, we've tested this many times we love this this is awesome uh, although I saw a picture the other day of one broken so I was kind of saddened by that but maybe we can outdo it somehow we also have a cold steel version cold steel version which we have not tested I don't think I don't it doesn't look like we've tested it there's no blood on it we did test this that is amazing I love that thing I want two of them uh, I'm giving it away but this thing is as good as a really, really great katana as far as the damage that it can do. And it's so light and short. It's pretty amazing that it can do that. He didn't mean giving away the, the, the knife. He meant giving away the... The secret of the, the episode that, that is this coming is, out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we also have one in uh, a zombie killer in zombie red. And we have all of the zombie killers collection. We just don't know where they all are. Um... That this thing. was pretty cool. The only reason why I want to show it to you guys is because it's cheap, and uh, anybody can own this. Own this. It's like maybe <coughs> maybe thirteen bucks, but it's actually a pretty cool machete. Um, you know, there's a really nice guard to it. It feels like a cutlass, and uh, and it also comes with a with a sharpener. And that's you know, it's not the greatest sharpener in the world, but it's kind of neat to have a a uh, a machete that you can just sort of. You know, sharpen in the in the scabbard. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, these two are fan scents, so thank you guys for sending these to us. And uh, these uh, size, my brother got me. Um, the Gladius machete, sharpest weapon I've seen out of a box. Um, mm. Ah, I don't know. This one's pretty sharp too. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. This thing is really sharp. And. Uh, and how do we keep our weapons sharp? Uh, for the most part, we don't. We these these guys send us really amazing weapons that are really sharp right out of the box. Even the fan-made stuff. I mean, this stuff is really yeah. sharp. Yeah, yeah. Our fan uh, Mauricio Garcia did this one, and uh, it's out of it's made out of D3 steel, and it's we can't wait to destroy a zombie with it because this thing is really gonna own a zombie. Yeah. Sorry if uh, we've been holding off on some of these uh, weapons that you guys have sent us uh, we've been kind of waiting for our new heads to be fully developed and which that's done now so they're all, they're coming so yeah and another thing is out. there are so many weapons that I mean we can't get to them all at you know doing an episode every week I mean we will eventually but you know other weapons come in and, I mean there's <laughs> there's no end to how many how many weapons we have yeah, and we, how many things we want to test. We haven't tested all of our weapons and we're still getting more weapons, so it's like <laughs> piling up behind us. So. Good problem to have. Yeah, good problems. Um, Thank you, everyone, for sending us your weapons. Yes, absolutely, and keep doing it, you know. If you want to send us some weapons, just uh, email us and, uh, and let us know. The next question, and uh, we got this also from multiple viewers, but it's better if I actually read this one verbatim. It says... And thus, Zombie Go Boom has sold out Tongue Face Gigi. 
Uh, no. I mean, look, it takes money to produce the show. We give you guys the show for free. Absolutely free. You don't have to pay to watch Zombie Go Boom. But we do have to pay a lot of money to make Zombie Go Boom. So if we get opportunities from other companies in order for us to be able to have more money to invest and reinvest into the show in order to make it better for you guys, then, uh, you know, we're going to do it. That's it with this mind-blowing update. I'm Chuck Murray, keeping you on target when it comes to matters from Zombie Go Boom.